Dave is the organist at our church, and by day he's an engineer, and he likes to talk about how important pattern recognition is in his job. There's a pattern in all of our lives that God has placed into our lives and baked right into creation, and it's the pattern of working and resting. In the creation story, on the seventh day, God rests. He takes a break, not necessarily because he needs to, not necessarily because he's tired. I mean, the guy is God, and yet he takes the rest. Throughout the Bible, there's different stories about rest and where rest fits and why rest fits, and Jesus rests, and he calls on us to rest, and it's an important thing for us to rest. I believe it's an important thing for us to maintain our patterns as best we can at this time, this weird pandemic era where everything's off kilter. The more routine we can get, the better off we are. We kind of already have figured that out for the most part, I think. I had a meeting one time with a guy or with a whole committee and this one guy in particular who's a real go-getter. He makes stuff happen. And out of nowhere, he said, okay, I'm calling for a German. I'm going home. So we stopped and we agreed to to end the meeting and then I chatted with them I said well, yo what's going on where you got to go like something happening should I know something is something wrong at home and he says oh no 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 it's nothing like that I just I had promised my kids I was going to make sandcastles with them today and and sandcastles don't build themselves and that's part of the attitude that makes me love working in a church where we value the work we're doing and we see it as God's work and it's important and it's good and it needs doing but we also value our home lives taking care of our children our spouses spending time with them so this is Friday it's another Friday in the COVID pandemic time and that means I'm about to take a nice break and I want to encourage you yet again to take a rest I keep encouraging us to do that but I keep encountering people who are not taking any rests and so I believe it's time for another rest it's time to put up a sign that says gone sand castle making gone fishing gone cycling gone for a walk gone for a cup of tea whatever it is even though you're not gone because you're secretly still at home and you're not allowed to go anywhere you can be gone in another sense right we can leave behind our anxieties our worries and just take a break for a little while leave behind the ipads the the radio wherever you're getting your news just take a break. It'll all be there when you come back. It always is. I've learned that week after week that I try to take a break and I am far from perfect at it. It's an art more than a science and it's something we need to learn. In Timothy, we learn about what it means and what you got to be able to do to be a leader. And Paul tells him that as he grows in these things, that is, it is, it's assumed we're only going to grow, we're going to learn, we're not perfect, we haven't arrived, we're going to make mistakes, and that's okay. We don't need to beat ourselves up about it, but that doesn't mean we don't need to at least try to take a rest and take a break. So that's my encouragement to you today. I don't want to say go out because you probably should stay in, but take a break, relax, breathe, enjoy the moment, find some calm, enter the rhythm of a weekend, and may God be with you all.